Hey Floss Tube, it's Kerry and Stitches. It's Friday the 25th of September and this is Floss Tube 81. Hello and welcome. Welcome if you are a new uh, viewer. Uh, it's great to have you here. I'm thinking some of you have come from uh, Tina at uh, Fancy Lady Cross Stitch. So a big welcome to you. Thanks for coming to check out my videos. I hope you like them. I hope you stick around. Um, it's great to have you with me. And welcome back if you are uh, a regular viewer. You know the drill. So for those who those who, words Kerry words those of you who are new uh, a quick bit about me um, I'm Kerry I'm a mum to two uh, a 10 year old and a 15 year old my 10 year old pops up periodically on um, my videos and she is a very good jewelry maker so um, you often see a lot of creation um, yeah uh, I I've been stitching for 16 years I have fairly eclectic tastes um, I love stitching Christmas I love stitching um, some alphabets, I love a house, so that, that's kind of where I'm at with um, my stitching style. Uh, I love bees, stitching bees, I've got a bit of a bee thing going on and I also have a new obsession I'll tell you about later on uh, with stitching themes. Um, I work part time as, a, as an administrator and I love my job, I really really enjoy it. It's not what I ever thought I'd do but it's great so I've been, um, I really enjoy that. Uh, I, other hobbies, jewellery making, I dabble a bit on, jewellery making is probably my other big kind of creative hobby but I have a dabble at anything, I'll give most things a go. I've got needle felting, um, quilting, uh, I've got a patchwork quilt on the go. Um, not machine quilting, I'm not that good at um, yeah, so I'll, I'll give most things a go, I, 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 I like to dabble, I'm a dabbler so anyway, on to cross stitch and I let's jump straight in with what I've been stitching so I've had it finished in the last fortnight which is always good um, I've been stitching Beth Twist uh, Hutchering Samplery Festive Little Fob's Beekeeping Edition and I, I, finished, I stitched one of the nine last year and I finished up the rest of them this year. So we've got two little ones there. We've got, oh, these are all on scraps of 35 count Edinburgh linen, um, raw linen. Another couple of that, but I'm not sure about that one. That one's going to be, and the red flower is going to be uh, a strawberry. Not made a strawberry before, that'll be a new thing. And then we've got these here. I'm going to do that one's going to be a biscorny. And then the B is another strawberry, and the other two are little rounds. Or let's see what they become. My glasses are slipping down. So that's those. Uh, stitched in a mixture of called for and substitutions. Uh, that was my colour palette. So all in weeks except for some acro. So there we go with those. So that's one down. So that's my effort. That's my FO, my finish. Uh, we shall see what, how they turn up. After getting my FFO box right down, it's, um, well, what did I have left? Did I clear it? I cleared it, didn't I? Except for Jack Frost. I now have, so I've got eight to do there. Jack Frost is seven. And I think they're about another three or four. Soon, soon mounts back up. I need to stop finishing things and start FFOing things. I'm not sure. FFO, fully finished object. When you turn that stitching into something. I'm also, as you can see behind me, redoing needle stance. Um, I framed it very roughly last year and I'm redoing that. And I intend to do the same for Weather Bees here because it's got a bit of a bubble just there, which you can't see because it's not on camera. Next up is Christmas Dreams. This is, this, this is my book file. Christmas Dreams, Tiny Modernist, it's the 2020 Stitch Along. Um, I was gifted the stitch along by a friend and I was gifted the fabric too and one of the flosses, my only substitute floss. So I'm stitching this on, I forget whether we worked it out to be in a 16 or an 18 count Ada. So here we go, I have completed the border, you can't really see the white particularly well, I'm stitching it just in one strand, 18 count because I'm stitching it in one strand. But it's one of those things, it shows up really nicely in person, just not great on screen. So there we go. There is a mistake in that border. 
um, I stitched it over one, so and it needs to needs to be moved. It's one of those things you stitch away and you think, oh yeah, it's all done. Then you look at it a couple of days later and go, that doesn't look right. Why doesn't it look right? And I've made a start on the set on the fence for the middle, so it's coming along well. This random bit of red thread is almost like it was telling me it was wrong, but that's a fairly quick fix. I just hope it doesn't leave it. Um, mark behind. So in the call for, I have got the fancy floss conversion as well, um, but I am stitching it in. The red is a colour and cotton rather than Louisiana hot sauce. Um, I think it was just three. Oh, and I didn't bother with the pecan, which reminds me I need to order some DMC three at four three five. Yeah, and I didn't bother with the onyx either. So I just picked the two greens and the red for them changes so that we, there we go that's Christmas dreams by the tiny modernist my lovely shower bag um, next up Alice 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 I've had a really good fortnight on her and I'm feeling super good about it at the moment um, I should have brought some clips in with me not too in the bottom of the bag there we go. So that's what that's Alice. So as you, as you can see, all the borders done now, except for the back stitching of the border. Obviously, not the squirrely bits, but so last time you saw, I only had the top row complete. So now we have the Tweedles, the Mad Hatter, and the Dormouse and March Hare. Uh, and I've back stitched all the roses and butterflies. I just have to do the playing cards and the envelope. And. This weekend I will be stitching, uh, so in here goes uh, painting the roses and then the duchess, so hopefully by the time you see me in two weeks time those two blocks will be done, maybe even that one, we'll see, Cheshire Cat's the last one there, so that will see me pretty much caught up because the magazine doesn't come out for another two weeks, so we will see, we will see. Uh, stitching it, so that's the Cross Stitcher magazine 2020 Alice in Wonderland Sal, uh, uh, designed by Amanda Butler, and I am stitching it um, called for linen. Uh, sorry, called for Ada, but I've switched mine to 18 count rather than 14, and called for DMC. Uh, what else? Two new starts this week. Uh, two of the prompts in Charles McKinney's Daily 30 group, uh, one uh, in the Sunflower, what's the word, weekly challenging thing event, one was some, Stitch on Sunflower, so would you believe this is my first Miss Corner this year, so this is Shiny Room and it's called Sunflower Fields, uh, I'm stitching it in the Cold for DMC, and it is on a Mystery Sparkly Zader, that's where I'm at. That's about 300 stitches there, 315 or something like that. So, nice little thing. I like stitching biscornos on Ada, it makes my life a lot easier. So, if you're new, as you can see, actually, I think it's on linen. Ada, isn't it so far? I don't know, no, linen. I stitch on anything. Uh, I, my, I like 36 count and I like 32 or 36 count, generally more towards 36 count linens. And I like um, 18 count Ada. Those are my preferences uh, when it comes to fabric, anyway. So, next up is a new start. Oh, another, another new start. That was a new start. This is Raven's Reply by Luminous Fibre Arts. Uh, I am stitching it in my own conversion because I only had a couple of the called for, and then I completely sub didn't even pick those because I couldn't find. I know I've got Wheat's KM somewhere. And I was fairly sure I had sweet potato. Can't find them. Oh well, never mind. So that's my conversion. I pulled the DMC and converted from the DMC, so um, I'm happy enough with it. It's going to work fine. I, um, I did. Yeah, I didn't have Raven. No, I didn't have Blackbird, which was the call for black. So I pulled the DMC and then I remembered I had a feeling that I had Raven in um, Gast so I thought Raven's reply the Raven the Raven's reply needs to be stitched in Raven 
There we go. Yeah. So there's that one. Now I've had to order another one because I stole it out of another project. Oh, I don't think Hardman Points has got a massive amount of lots here. Oh, do you want to see what I've been stitching while I've been just putting it away and moving on? So, pretty much got most of the border done. So, but this is stitched on 36 count um, Dr. Smith's Tonic by Sparklies. Love me some sparklies. Oh, the sunflower, that was a mystery sparklies. Um, it's 18 count. So, because I'm going to have another side left, I'm going to start Blackbird by Blackbird as well. Because they're pretty much the same size. And there starts my new thing of blackbirds in a bowl. So I'm going to have a little display of blackbirds because why not? I have a, I have a few on my uh, wish list. So we'll just have to see what happens and whether I get bored very quickly. But blackbirds, that's, that's my new thing, blackbirds. So uh, plans? Well, let's pay... I am really one of those best laid plans kind of people. Um, I'm loving stitching on Raven's Reply at the moment. I fully intend, I think that's gonna dump that there and that's gonna be there for a lot of next week. Uh, Alice will be out this weekend. Uh, she's my weekend stitch. Um, what else? I don't know, we'll see where I'm led. We'll see where I'm led. Um, where Cheryl's new prompts take me this week. So uh, yeah. That's pretty much the plans. So what else have I been doing? I've been, Lottie and I have been creating some beading works of art. We, uh, we've moved on to some stitching, so counting pins this week. Uh, none of these are glued, that's why they push so far down. So just having a few Halloween ones. Um, I'm seriously considering now going, um, uh, opening an Etsy shop or doing it through Facebook or something like that. So expect, I'll announce it here, expect to see those soon. So doing counting pins, uh, scissor fobs, that kind of thing. Uh, what else? Yeah, so, uh, so you'll see a few more in a minute what we've made. Um, my new obsession is the Quiet Squirrel and she, she sells basically crafty bits and pieces like flat backs for um, to make minders and beads and lots of really really cute stationery. So she's a UK based seller. Um, I will link her website below and it comes beautifully packaged. Obviously you're not too much. So my order is all in this little paper bag. So I've had some beads from her, some Christmas beads and some Halloween beads. Um, a little Alice flat back to make a minder because I haven't actually got an Alice minder on my Alice project and a little haunted house charm for something else and in with it she includes little freebies and I got a couple of Alice postcards to Maram and some more beads so if you're a UK person personage and you like cute little things like that certainly check them out I'll link her below I've got a couple more orders in and I'm intending to do some unboxings so don't be surprised if you don't see them coming up Oh, let's just chuck that out of the way. Um, Pet Chase got sale on, so I picked up some more ribbons and stuff from my box. I do love best ribbons. And the yellow, hmm, they might go well with my. Um... Oh, come on, Kerry, what's it called? My festive fobs. There we go. Words. So, as I told you last time, it is my uh, third year floss tube anniversary. Well, it was two weeks ago. So we've got some little giveaways for you. So the rules, usual rules, be a subscriber, be over 18, don't mention giveaway, as well delete comment. Um, it's gonna be open for a month, so I'll close it on the day before my next floss tube, uh, not my next floss tube, the day before my 83rd floss tube regular one, which will be the 22nd of October. Man, I've got it written down and like I said, I don't know what I'm talking about. So. There will be three keywords. You can enter as many of them, many of them as you want. You'll only win one, and you need to answer the question, which I'll tell you at the end. So I'll put the keywords on the screen just so you can, you know, you know you've got them. So we're going to have three little prizes for three years. There's going to be a set of uh, scissor fob counting pins and a little frogger. If you've not seen a frog 
frogger before. Basically, it's a slightly larger needle. This is a size 22. So, oh, let me just hold it like that. Like that. And it's so when you're actually pick it, I'm picking your threads and you do that kind of motion. And now, how many times have you done that and the needle's gone? You go, boop, the needle like that. And uh, yeah, I've done it before. Normally, if you do that and your needle's attached to the thread, you can find it still. So, um, helps you find your needle easier, your, your needle easier. So, that's going to be one set. So, you're going to have to tell me bees for that one. I'm going to have oh, 15 minutes. So, it's bees. Because you know I love bees. I'm going to hold this one upside down because I haven't finished this, the... the uh, pins aren't finished yet, so because well, I'm disorganized. So, we've got ladybugs, uh, ladybirds rather. We are little ladybugs, and uh, the minder made by Lottie and myself. So, that's gonna be ladybirds, and there will be three pins. I'm just waiting on some more supplies to come in, um, and then we're gonna have a little pouch filled with some bits and pieces and um, so far obviously you get the little pouch you will get some rainbow scissors oh, they're very nice little bag uh, a kitted up bendy stitchy pattern um, Michelle really encouraged me when I was first making a floss tube so it feels any anyway that her first pattern so um, the start of her uh, very accomplished design jet uh, yeah, design journey so that's going to be fully kitted and you can you will be able to choose ada or even weave um for them and then we've got a full set of um this is a lottie creation this is very special i want to keep this and i don't have any more beads so i can't even replicate this i do ha i don't have any more of the crackle beads you kind of thing so we've got um a minder, counting pins, and three very lovely, um, three very lovely pins there. So made by Lottie, it's beautiful. Uh, that's Ocean Star. That's she's named this that this as well. So that's Ocean Star. Um, yeah. So there'll be there'll be other bits and pieces in the as well as the fabric and the threads. There'll be minders. There'll be whatever whatever happens to fall into the bag. So um, open for a month. I'll keep adding to the uh, bags and maybe other bits that go along with these two as well. So you need to tell me Ocean Star bees or Ladybird, and I want you to tell me is there a chart that you want to that still you're hoping to stitch this year. Is there something that you haven't got around to starting and you're thinking, yeah, I'm gonna I'm that's that's next on my list. I've got to get that started before the year and year's out. Mine is Coffee Drinkers Confession by Heartstring Samplery. Um I've had the chart, I've been kitting it up slowly over the years as far as fast as I can get my hands on the um the gentle arts threads that I need. I'm still waiting on three. Oh, it just keeps going. Um so as fast as I can go, I'm still waiting. Um so I will get that started before the year is out. So that's the question, what chart, what chart kit, if, kit or whatever that you want to start before the year's out and give me a keyword. Um, I will do the YouTube random commenty generatory thing to uh, draw those and and we'll, we'll pick some winners in a month's time. Um, quick shout out to Link is my homeboy Heather, she's come back to floss tubing again so um if you've not seen heather before or didn't realize she was back check out her videos i will link her below um oh mel that's yours uh that was my giveaway from last time and uh, any mel wanted it so there we are that's what we're at uh another short video um i have made another scissor there is another scissor fob on its way to uh, which is being gifted so that's on its way well, will be on its way next week when something else arrives so um, I'll take a quick photograph of that and insert that next time so um, yeah until next time uh, we'll have a cross stitch or flip through next time I think so um, take care friends happy stitching uh, stay safe stay well and 
have a great stitchy week fortnight next week i'm not sure what my next video is going to be don't know if you've got any suggestions for other things you'd like me to have a look at like um on a similar vein to the black quote video leave me a comment and i will see what i can do so until then friends bye, -bye.